Hi, this is Johnny Bergen. Welcome to another Chicago Blues guitar lesson. I do want to let you know before we get rolling, I've started a Patreon platform to help me keep these free weekly guitar deep dives coming. So right now, I am so happy. I've got my friend Skylar Softly with me. Great guitar player, band leader, harp player, all around great guy. So uh, <laughs> we're going to play some blues. What I want to do this time is Caledonia. Looks like Louis Jordan did it in C. Every time I, I would play it with uh, Sam Lay, um, we always played it in G, wherever your voice is comfortable. So let's play it in G, and I think Skylar's going to take the head. We're going to play it for a while, and then I'm going to break it down for you. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. All right. You okay? One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's take it one more time. Caledonia, Caledonia. 
brother, don't you? Well, what made you think it so hard? I love you. Love you just the same. Breathe about you, baby, because Caledonia, whoa, is your name. You'll have to tell us what that was. You got it, don't know that. Sorry about that. <laughs> you were playing right quick and then we'll get into those yeah. songs but all i got you here um, you did some diminished chords over the four what was that yeah so i like to do you take that c7 mm -hmm. so i'll play that over the four and then add my middle finger on there on the fourth fret of the a string yeah. it changes everything doesn't yeah. it yeah and then you take that up two frets yeah let me see yeah three no three three <laughs> Three more? Yeah, if you want If to. you want to. Then it starts sounding like South Park. <laughs> yeah. No. And uh, then you did something where you were going... Yeah. I take... It's like a... It's still the four, but I'll play like... It's like a G minor shape. You could just hit it like... And then I'll play like a diminished... I don't know if you can see that. back to the one right yeah okay and then you can do all those cool little like like you said like like those honky tonk chords seven eight and nine on the e and b and g yeah. strings move it down one just your first finger and then you got your four chord right yeah. and you can take that up two frets and then you got the five it sounds funky but i like yeah. it i like it one more solo and I'll let you go. Ready? One, yeah. two, one, two, three. <laughs> So lots to talk about there. I uh, really appreciate Skylar coming by. Um, I'm going to talk about Caledonia and how to play it. Um, a G6 chord is basically this. Here's the top four strings of a G chord. If you use your pinky on the fifth fret of the E string of the B string, this pretty like fresh sound is the six. And I think about it as if G is one. 
then A is 2, B is 3, C is 4, D is 5, E is number 6. Okay. It's a G with an E in it, just like this is a G with an E in it. So there's a few ways to play it. And if you, like, you could do like this, you could have like a power chord on the bottom and then a six on the top. Or you could use your thumb. I like to have the crunch bottom and then I often will use just my fingers. Yeah. And the click, the clicks in there to make it propulsive. Because just like we were talking about last time with the Confusion Blues, the boom wax. It's kind of imitating a stride piano sort of thing. And notice how, see how I'm sort of releasing, putting down, releasing, putting down on my left hand on the tension on these strings on the neck. I like that so much better than this. This sounds so light and it doesn't have any meat. This has some meat. And then I have, or just a C ninth with the low E string. Because the whole time I was with Sam Lay, you know, I was the only middle section there. I had to make it big, not these little small chords, but make it a little bigger. Because I had the only middle part of the whole thing. There was just harmonica, string bass, and then the guitar was the only sort of middle register there. So I tried to make it big. And then try to smile and feel sort of buoyant. And if you're counting one, two, three, four, doom, chick, 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 doom, chick. Sometimes you can sort of drop a little bombs on the one, same way a bass, a bass drum, bass drum would, you know. Doom. If you want to. You don't have to. Five, that's just your D with the uh, low E string for the bass. Or you can use your thumb or your first finger, right? Caledonia. There you go, you're ready to rock. There's some great Eddie Taylor rhythm guitar where he's just really filling in with the accents on the one and then the upstrokes. It's just fabulous. Um, it's on his version of Earl Hooker's Variations on Frosty. It's amazing. And because, you know, Earl Hooker's going. But Eddie Taylor's doing this. It's really amazing. Um, it's some of the best rhythm guitar I've ever heard. Eddie Taylor on Earl Hooker's Variations on Frosty. So that's what I'm trying to do with this kind of thing. So then the melody is, it's just right out of an e, G chord. And then over the four, you have to do a roll. I'll do that again one more time. That's a hammer on third and fourth on the G string, then hammer on again. And then you play those notes again, three and four. Bap, bap. And then when it comes to the four, it's almost the same. You have. Back to what you know. And over the five, guess what? Same thing. Guess what? Because this note, it's the root of the four chord and it's the seventh of the five chord and i think scholar might have made a small mistake he was going i was thought was this it's a uh, three five on the b string one i mean that's the one interval third fret east E string, and then third, the uh, sixth fret.
you could play it in a lower octave if you want. Same thing. Back to the one, same thing. And then you have talking about my baby, she got great big feet, and so on. Then you're ready to rock. And then uh, Skylar was doing nice stuff like. That's 12 and 10. It fits right out of these chords. A G chord that's been moved all the way up. 10th fret, root, A string. Nice. So for your solo, just have fun. Try to go around between major sort of sounds. Sevenths. One chord I was using as, like, say you're playing rhythm guitar and somebody's already doing this, or the piano is, you could play this chord. I love this. This is second finger on the third fret, low E. First finger, second fret, A string. Third finger, third fret, D, pinky. And then it's... If you just move these two over to the third fret of the G and B strings, then you have your four, right? Up two, and then you get your five. I actually learned about this chord from Johnny B. Moore, like in Pink Champagne, he'd go like this. Champagne. And he'd go... It's a little trickier to play in that voicing. That's seven, six, seven on the E, A, D strings, E, A, G strings, and your pinky out in the ninth fret of the D string. That's the same voicing as this shape. But I digress a little bit. So back to Caledonia. Um, I was just playing all the same stuff that we talked about way back when with like Gory Carter and the hustle was on. Skyler was going into some more stuff, kind of like Bill Jennings, you know, and some little more uh, fancy stuff. Tommy Harkenrider's great at all that kind of thing. Um, Skyler does a great job with it. I was really sticking to the. So you can carve your own path with the solo, just and you could practice the bass line like Skyler was playing. Or maybe you played it like this with your second finger starting. And the other guy plays that chunk. If you had that going, notice how it doesn't go. It does not do that. It goes five, two bars, back to one. And now it starts over. Da, 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 da. So it's like really boiled down. I really like that. So sometimes I do this. I just walk down. You can do that, you know, as part of your solos. That's like three, flat three, two, five, if you want. But, um, you know, have fun with the solo, but you got to learn the, the song right. So I think this is a real good start. Louis Jordan, Muddy Waters has a great version. Uh, James Cotton has a super fast version. Um, have fun. This is a great song to have a jam. It's a great song to know. So... I hope you enjoyed um, this little jam session. I'm gonna try to put a little more, little more jam sessions and rhythm guitar and chords in these lessons. Do drop me a line um, and to say hi and um, with your thoughts. Do subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you next time. Thanks a lot.